Hi everyone. So in this video lecture, I'm going to talk about an parameter um, for print function. And I've actually created a video lecture on and an SEP parameter for um, print function. But one of the subscribers has asked, Daniel has asked um, uh, to has asked me to explain and function again. So uh, Daniel says, I'm struggling to understand the AND function. I still don't get it. So this is for you, specifically for you. And if anybody, if by any chance, somebody was not able to understand, if you were not able to understand this concept of AND parameter, I hope this video is going to uh, be helpful for you as well. So first of all, before I actually start with an example, I want to tell you something about E and D. Okay, so we have these two terms. We have E and D. I'm gonna write it lowercase, right? And this is actually a parameter for print function. And I uh, will also create a video on print function formatting where I will try to explain all the arguments of print function and uh, for this video this is confined this video in this video I'm only going to talk about and and parameter okay so by default print function always ends with a new line okay just remember that by default print function always ends with a new line okay so what that means is that when something is printed the control automatically goes to next line or new line right so for example if I say print hello okay um, let me actually create a file that will be helpful, you know. So let's say we have print hello. Okay. And then in the next line, I would say print hi. Okay. I'm going to save it. Let's say program one. right and now if i run it it's gonna be hello and hi right so it automatically goes to the next line now you may ask that because this is uh, first statement and the next statement is in the next line so obviously it's going to be in the next line right okay i can write it write these two statements in one line also so print hello semicolon and then print hi okay i'm gonna save it and i'm gonna run it it's gonna be hello and hi now why is that because by default as i told you by default print function always ends with a new line okay so when this print function was executed hello was printed on the screen and then control automatically goes to new line irrespective of whether you write next statement in the same line or you write it in the next line doesn't matter print is going to print it like uh, print statement is going to let the control go to the next line okay automatically fine but if one if you want to if you want that next statement should not go to the next line or next print statement shouldn't go to the next line and it should do something else instead so you need to change the ending because by default what is the ending ending is new line so every time you have a print statement so if you can also write hello how are you this is like one statement okay this is one state one print statement and it is always going to end in a new line 
control will go to the new line. So you need to change the ending because by default the ending is new line. Okay, you need to change this ending. What I mean here, what is the normal ending of print function? New line. What does that mean? Control goes to the next line, right? And how it can be changed? Using and parameter. Okay, so what does that mean? When you say print hello, print function has this parameter called n and this is if you explicitly provide this parameter because earlier you were not providing it. So if I explicitly write here comma and this is the parameter. Okay. Now this means that we are we are going to change the natural flow of control. Um, natural flow, natural ending of it. Okay. We are going to alter that ending. So you can provide space here. You can provide a symbol, special character. And it's going to go that way. So now if I provide space here, it means that when this print statement is executed, the control is not going to go to the next line. Right? That means next print statement will be executed in the same line. Okay? But when this statement gets executed, since we are not using AND here, we are not using AND parameter here, after this statement, when this statement gets executed, control will automatically go to the next line. Okay? So I'm going to save it. I will run it. See, hello, and then natural outcome was next line. But since I'm using and, natural outcome is restricted. It is sort of um, hindered, right? So instead, we are providing space. So we have space, and then next print gets executed. But here I'm not providing any space. Uh, here I'm not providing and parameter. So if I write something after this, it's going to go to the next line. Okay. Right. Hello. Hi. Because in high uh, print statement executing high is not using now was not using any and parameter. So this goes to the new line. Okay. Natural ending here is not restricted. Natural ending here was restricted by the use of AND parameter, okay? So in a way, AND parameter, you can say it alters the normal ending and control will not go to next line, but instead it will use whatever uh, is there, you know, whatever is uh, specified by AND parameter. So it could be space, it, it could be a special character, for example, um, at the rate, right? So if I run it, hello, at the rate. So it's using at the rate. Here it, it was space, so it was using white space, right? So we have at the rate here. Right? And you should also know that it is also different from SEP, right? We have another parameter if you remember um, SEP right SEP is a field separator if you go back to that video lecture I have mentioned that SEP is a field separator so you can remember uh, this um, it's like values in one field are separated Right? So if you want to separate values of one field, SEP can be used. E and D is for E and D is for output record separator. So it decides the ending of an output. It is related to the output, output, not the field, right? That's how you can remember it. So it is this is related to the output, right? Output of one print statement. Okay. And now, so okay, um, another illustration, you know, I try to 
um, give examples, avoiding technical jargons. I know this is programming, so I have to use technical terms, but I try to relate um, these concepts. Um, I try to make them as close as can with the real world example, so you can actually grasp the idea of what's going on. So for example, as per English grammar, when you write something, when you write a sentence, you know it ends with a full stop, right? You, you automatically knows that, know that, you automatically know that, right? That it's gonna end with a full stop. Similarly, when print function is used, right? When print function prints an output, it automatically ends with the new line, okay? And if you are familiar with uh, C or C++ other programming languages, you know this is new line character. You know, this is new line, okay? So by default, print ends with new line. Simply put, the control goes to next line. So end parameter is used to change that. And parameter is used to change that automatic response. Okay, so if and is at the rate instead of new line, this one you see this thing new line. This is this by default. You know it's like background coding. You know back end like it is already there. So uh, print function when the when the methodology or the procedure for print was written, it was already there. Slash n, this new line character is already there. To change that, we have n parameter here, and uh, you can you know alter alter the uh, ending, right? So if n equals to at the rate, at the rate symbol will be placed after the output instead of new line character instead of new line, right? Control won't go to next line. The default next line concept will be removed. Control won't go to the next line. So output of first print, as I told you here, as you can see, output of first print statement will be hello. Right, and then end is at the rate. So at the rate will be printed. And since control didn't go to the next line, hi will be printed after at the rate. Okay, now since in this print statement, there is no end, no end is used explicitly, the control will go to next line because that is the automatic response of print function going to the next line right and any statement after this because we are not using and here so any statement after this print function this statement will be in the next line so af when after this statement when i try to print how are you it goes to the next line that is the automatic response okay that is the use of end or end parameter i really hope it's clear now if it's not please let me know um I'll try to explain it again and just be, uh, if you can, just be specific like where you are not able to understand, like what is it about END that you're not able to understand or, or if you want me to explain it in a specific context, you know, if you have any program uh, or like a coding example, you want me to have a look or, uh, you know, like uh, because if you are being very specific, that's really going to help. But uh, yeah, I really hope this uh, was helpful and you were able to understand END parameter, role of END parameter in print function. Again, I'm really sorry for the background noise. And uh, yeah, please let me know your doubts in the comments or via mail or however you feel comfortable. So I'll see you in the next video lecture. Till then. Take care.